what's up you guys welcome back to take three so this week is diy week so i'm going to be showing you how to make two things yeah okay two things the first one being this i'm not sure if it's going to show up very well but um i don't know how we'll frame this but it just says it's five s west lyrics with like lipstick stains because it says lipstick stain is a work of art yeah for another thing for this, I would recommend, I didn't say it in, like, when I'm filming the actual part, I would make sure it's in center and all your letters are the same size, mine are messed up. Or you can just use, like, stickers or a stencil or something. And also, you could write the words bigger and then just put one down at the bottom if you want to. So that's the first one. And the second one is this bowl. It just has, like, stuff on it. You can use it to put like food in it because food's good, or you can put like candle or I don't know what you're gonna do or something in it. So yeah, okay. So let's get started with that. Okay, so this is an awkward angle. I'm behind the camera, so if I yeah, it's a difficult. Okay, so for the first one, you're gonna need a sharpie some paper, some lipsticks which is in the back, and then a frame which is over there. So you can write like anything you want, but I'm gonna do 5S the West lyrics, which is your lipstick stain, because like yeah, is a work of art, so we're gonna try to do it from behind, see how this works. Okay, so we're just gonna go with this for now. Probably make another one another time. Because this is my first one, but we're just gonna go with that. Okay, and then all my fail ones are over here. Kind of feel that way. Close enough. Okay, now you can't really see it, but I'm not gonna show this on camera. But you're just gonna like put on the different lipsticks and just kiss the paper over and over. So then there's the, like lipstick stains, and it's gonna be enough frame. So yeah, I'll be back after I've done that as well. Um. Okay, so after you're done, it should look like something like that. Like that. So, yeah, you need, like, different colors, but I didn't say that at the beginning, I don't remember. So you can't see some of them, but they're there. So, yeah, and then you just put that in your frame. I don't feel like I'm packaging my frame right now, but, yeah. Okay, so that one's that one, so I'll see you for the next one. Okay, so for the next one, you're going to need a some kind of, like, glass bowl or, like, container. Some... Matte Mod Podge, some different color tissue paper, some of these like sponge paint brushes, and then any like shaped puncher you want. So I'm using hearts. Okay. So first you're just going to take your puncher and punch out a lot of different tissue paper stuff in different colors. So I'll go do that and I will be right back. Okay, so I punched them all out. Well, some of them. I don't know if I'll need more. Um, we'll see. So, um, then, well, okay, stay. I'm going to pour some of this into the cover. Uh, nah. Okay. So you're going to take your bowl. Take your bowl. Okay. And you're going to place your heart, whatever color you want first. And you're just going to place it on it. And then you're going to take some, ew, you're just going to brush it onto this. I'm putting probably too much. Oh well. And then you are just going to do that throughout the whole thing. You can put it in like patterns if you want to, but I'm just going to place them on randomly. So, yep. Just, just keep. You can overlap them. You can like, yeah, as I said, make patterns. I'm just going to do whatever happens. And this does dry clear, I think. 
has a matte finish, so there, it won't like look like white like it does. If you can see it, but so yeah. So I'll be back when I finish with this. So that's gonna be the end of this video. Um, yeah, I showed you how they look in the beginning, so I don't need to show you again. But so give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next week. Bye.